Welcome back to the Mullen Performance Audio Channel. We just got done with the video for testing the fish tank. Um, that'll be probably after this one. Uh, this is the cone, the uh, caution cone, whatever, road cone, whatever you want to call it. So I was sitting here trying to figure out because it's got these standoffs and stuff on how I wanted to mount it in there. And I could go through this big elaborate thing and making a piece of wood and then having to seal around it, but it's got standoffs on it and everything. So I was like, okay, so let's just see what happens if I just drop it down in there. <laughs> so I dropped it down in there and you can see the bulge where it's sealed. So it's sealed around itself. The worst part about it was I, I turned it on just to see if it, you know, if it worked, what it would do. And it started chuffing air out real bad around the, the speak, this other uh, screw holes. <coughs> so I just got some tape wadded up some tape in each one of the screw holes, shoved it in there, shoved that in there, and then turned it back on. Just I didn't crank it up, I just turned it back on, and you get more chuffing from that than you do uh, these holes now. So let's play around with this a little bit. I got a couple ideas on how I think this would be kind of cool. And uh, you know what? I just thought of something. Let's... Uh, I think a 12, let's see here, how far will a 10 go in there? Do I got a 10 lane? I got a 10 lane right here somewhere. Brother. Yeah, this is a 12, isn't it? What is this? This is a 12, right? So this is a 12. Let's, uh, I'm just curious here. Sorry guys, I'm jumping all over the place here. So let's see here. So a 12, uh, could you put a 12 in here? Mm, not really. I guess if you want it to be, I know you could put a 10 in there. 10 would probably be perfect. I think a 10 would just be, would slide right in here around this lip and you would be perfect. So anyway, let's, uh, let's put you on hold. Let me get this set up. Let me see what we can do. Okay. So I'm just going to play this a little bit and then I'll give you a couple ideas on how I think this could be cool. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so we're gonna use, what I've been doing, has been using Basegasm, which is a pretty, you know, up and down. Okay, that's about four clicks from the top, so let's see what happens. Um, putting out some decent output <sighs> I'm gonna say this is like a probably let's say seven out of ten on desperation because you're gonna have to go out and find you some of these cones I'm not, I'm not messing with you guys this literally was laying in front of my house about two weeks ago somebody drove by and just dropped this off their truck and it was just laying in the middle of the road. And I left it out there for about three hours and nobody came to pick it up. So I just went out there and picked it up and laid it in my front yard and sat there for two days and nobody came and got it. 
So I just put it in a garage. And I thought, okay, well, let's see what happens if we drop a speaker in it or a subwoofer in it. And it actually, it's not horrible. it out a little bit you know if you can if you made you uh there's a lip right here if you made you a circle right here and plunked it in there man okay surprisingly enough um output wise highest one so far um so we've already done the box, we've already done the bucket, now we've done the cone. So we've done them in order of really crappy, crappy, meh, and then we'll do fish tank, which I've already shot and I've already heard the output, but I will kind of keep, well okay, I'm going to keep it to myself because I already know what it puts out. The fish tank, we're going to put it right at... Um, we're going to say the box, the fish tank, the bucket, the cone. If you are desperate enough to have to have any of those enclosures, I'd go for the cone. If you have an 8. If you have a 10, I think it would be even better. Because a 10 would sit farther out here. It would give you more room. And what I would do is I would come in here and I'd trim this off. See how this next down real bad right here? You could literally cut this off and cut it off in sections until you got your port tuning <laughs> where you wanted it. And then I would just, if it was a really crappy woofer, like, you know, if you went out to like Walmart or something like that and just bought you a really crappy woofer, I'd just silicone it in there. I'd, I'd put some silicone around it, I'd drop it down in there, and then I'd silicone up all the holes for the speaker. Uh, I think that would be awesome. I think that would be your perfect, if you had nothing. I'm very surprised at that. That right there has surprised me. Um, it's the second biggest surprise of the series so far. I've already shot the finale. That's going to be the biggest surprise of the whole series. Uh, the cone is probably the second biggest surprise because... I knew it would work, but I didn't know how well it would work, and um, I'm. It works awesome. So yeah, I would I would get a ten, because a twelve won't quite fit in there. I'd get a ten. I'd drop a ten in there. I'd silicone around it. I'd silicone up all the little holes just to seal around it, and then I would cut that end of the uh, the cone off, and then you could just literally lay it in there. You could lay it flat like that if you want it. You could lay it up if you want to try to stand it up to make it look special. You could even... <sighs> okay, so let's try something. This is just sitting in there. I don't know if it would stay. Could we stand it up? It's it's just sitting in there, so... Will it... Or will it fall? Oh, nope, it fell. <laughs> okay. See, it's just sitting in there right now. I was going to stand it up. If you silicone that in there... And set it flat. Somebody's got to do that. You want me to do that? I'll purchase a cheap 10 inch woofer and I'll silicone it in there and then we'll just stand it up because it's got these standoffs on it and it, <laughs> it'd be like it'd be like poor man's home audio. <laughs> it'd just be a cone with a with a wire in it to it. If you guys want me to try that, I'll try it. I'll purchase a cheap O10. Actually, I got the uh, the dual. I really don't want to. If you guys want me to, I'll use the dual. Let me know in the comments. If you want me to, the dual's brand new, never been used. Um, I'll use the dual. I don't care. 
I kind of wanted to, I was like, oh, I'll keep it. I'm thinking, why am I going to keep it? What, what good is it going to do me? Um, I'll silicone it in the bottom of that. I'll silicone off the wires. And that one's not going to take no power, though. That thing is, uh, that, that RD Audio just nuked that, that thing, that dual. But, uh, I mean, why not? Why couldn't you just stand it up and just have base, base cones everywhere? Ooh, base cones. Okay. Wouldn't that be kind of awesome? Just have warning cones. Oh, hey, there you go. Go to a car show. Put them all around your vehicle. Just run wires to them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, this is how I think, guys. Yeah, I just think outside the box on stupid stuff like this. Every once in a while, an idea is like, hey, that's worth doing. <laughs> All right. Subscribe, guys. I love you. Thank you to my patrons. If you guys want me to, leave it in the comments to put the duel in the cone. And we'll stand it up. And we'll play it. And we'll see how it sounds. I think it, it'll load off the ground and then I think it will with that little bit of space I don't know about the little bit of space because it stands about a half inch up off the ground I don't know if that would be enough or not but let me know that might be a kind of novelty but might work be kind of neat to have like three or four of those in the back of a vehicle and just have subs in them and people are like what is that and it's like three warning or three caution cones across the back of somebody's vehicle <laughs> All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you guys in the next video. You'll like it.